Good morning, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G as we try to chip away at some of these Gospels. And it is Tuesday, August 30th, the 22nd week of Ordinary Time, and it is the feast day of St. Anne Line. And she was an English um, martyr, uh, a Catholic martyr, and after losing her husband, she became very active in sheltering uh, Catholic priests during uh, in the 1600s during the reign of Queen Elizabeth I, uh, and that was illegal uh, during that time because um, they were trying to attack the Catholic Church and the priest, and so people had to and they were murdering priests. So she was sheltering some of them, um, and she ended up getting contem condemned to death because it was illegal. Uh, so she was arrested, condemned, condemned, and executed um, for harboring. Um, Catholic priests, and she quote she said, um, right before she had died, she said, "I am sentenced to die for harboring a Catholic priest, and so far I am from repenting for having done so. That I wish with all my soul that where I have entertained one, I could have entertained a thousand. So she wishes she could have done a lot more than what she did, um, but just shows the importance of of holy orders." Um, and priest in the world. Anyway, she is the patron saint of childless people, converse, converts, and widows. Today's gospel is from Luke chapter 4, verses 31 through 37. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen. Jesus then went down to Capernaum, a town of Galilee. He taught them on the Sabbath, and they were astonished at his teaching because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue there was a man with the spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out in a loud voice, Ha! What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet, come out of, the, come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down in front of them and came out of him without doing him any harm. They were all amazed and said to one another, What is there about his word? Or what is there about his word? For what? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out. And news of him spread everywhere in the surrounding region. So we have the, the cure of a demoniac. So a, a man possessed by a demon. And so um, it's interesting because the people around know that this man is possessed with an unclean spirit. They are fully aware of the spiritual warfare that goes on in the world and within people, uh, much like it does within all of us. Um, because I think we oftentimes neglect to think that, um, you know, in our pride, that we think that we can't ever do anything wrong and that Satan doesn't have power over us because we're Christian. And that means we're good. And that means we... Satan doesn't have a hold of us because we belong to Jesus, which is true. But um, keep in mind that, you know, the closer that Jesus is to you in your heart, Satan is that much closer because you're considered a threat to him. So we need to make sure that we stay true to our prayer life and that we stay true to Jesus and know that Jesus can do anything. And so whenever we feel like any evil thoughts or evil distractions or evil feelings of whatever it might be, um, ego, arrogance, narcissism, um, lust, um, whatever it is uh, that we know isn't good. And it's, we also have a hard time controlling it because we're human. We need to go to Jesus and say, in the name of Jesus Christ, get behind me, Satan. Um, or maybe, you know, the church gives us so much, um, so much in prayer, so much in the sacraments, even the sacramentals like holy water and things of that nature. Um, that's what we, we need to do uh, more often to know, and first of all, realize that evil is in the world, but evil isn't, it's also within ourselves. So what is it that you and I do um, in our lives to make sure that we love the Lord and rely on his mercy and his defense in all the spiritual battles going on around us? So have a great day. God bless. Keep it real. In the Father, Son, and Spirit, amen.